cheap power supplies rarely earn recommendations because they're often ticking time bombs. But the allure of a low price tag tempts the value oriented among us. Normally, EVGA's 450 BT sells for $45. But from time to time, you'll find it on sale for $25. Well that sounds too good to be true for a capable 450 WPSU, we're here to tell you that this model does deserve consideration for its satisfactory efficiency, good ripple suppression, tight load regulation, and ability to keep its rails within the ATX specifications tolerances. Incredibly low price properly tuned protection features satisfactory performance in critical benchmarks decent build quality fully sleeved cables outdated platform bad 3.3 volts transient response noisy lower than 17 milliseconds hold up time cables with thinner than recommended wires overrated MOV in the transient filter at $25 EVGA's 450 BT is a great deal. It's even a decent buy at the company's $40 list price. However, at that point you may as well consider Corsair CX450 as well. It's only $5 more expensive and far superior in a number of tests. Still, the 450 BT was a nice surprise. We didn't expect it to demonstrate such tight load regulation and good ripple suppression. Of course, there are some pretty obvious limitations associated with entry-level power supplies, mostly related to the bargain bin components found inside. And 450W isn't much for a gaming PC, so you have to make sure you're putting it in the right kind of machine. The competition in this price range mostly consists of generic stuff from China. The only branded models we could find were Corsair CX450 and VS450, Cooler Masters MWE 450W, the Antec VP450, and Rose Wills Arc. Unfortunately, we only have performance data for the CX450 and CX450M, so our comparisons are limited for now. Understandably, the 450BT offers basic features. There just isn't any room for extras at this price range. So, for $25 to $40, you get fixed cables, 80 plus bronze efficiency, and a sleeve bearing fan. The PSU is based on a super flower platform manufactured by RSY. We weren't expecting semi-passive fan functionality, and that's probably for the best since EVGA claims a low 30 degrees Celsius temperature rating for sustained full power output. If you need a PSU able to withstand tougher conditions, then you have to spend more money. Specifications Manufacturer OEM Super Flower Max DC output 450 W efficiency 80 plus bronze ETAS 82 to 85% noise lambda S 35 to 40 decibels A modular Intel C6 C7 power state support operating temperature continuous full load 0 to 30 degrees cover voltage protection under voltage protection over power protection over current 12 volt fortunately all of the protection features we check for are included the 120 mm sleeve bearing based cooling fan isn't bad either A compact 14.5 cm depth measurement is admirable, as is the 3-year warranty. Power specifications Rail 3.3 volts 5V 12V 5V SB 12V Max. Power amps 18,181,000 2.50.3 watts 9,042,012.53.6 total max. Power W450 The minor rails offer up to 90W of combined power, while the 12 volts rail cannot deliver the PSU's full power on its own. That's an indication of a group regulation design on the secondary side. Even still, the minor rail's low combined output should help this configuration behave well in unbalanced loads. The number of peripheral connectors is also satisfactory. On the other hand, we don't like the 20 gauge wires used for most of the connectors. Cables responsible for transferring the highest power levels should at least use 18 gauge wires. It's especially shameful to find those thinner wires on the Epson 24 pin ATX connectors. The 450 BT's cables are shown in the photos above. 
more best power supplies more how we test power supplies more all power supply content page to the following video shows us unboxing the 450 bt the following photos show the 450 bt and its accessories from other angles more best power supplies more how we test power supplies more all power supply content